Okay. So here's today's news story. <laughs> I've been uh, having some problems uh, with memory loss lately and my inability to uh, my inability to um, remember shit. So I thought um, that I I'm like, wow, is this dementia? <laughs> anyway, so I thought I've uh, set up all day today um, um, talking to people about this issue, caregivers, family members, friends, and um, I just assumed, okay, I'm on the downward spiral here, and uh, so I need to make sure I take care of this before it gets too bad. So, much like I stopped driving uh, quite a while ago because I was not a, I had become a, a dangerous driver. And there's nothing worse than somebody um, not giving up on driving because um, they don't want to lose their ability to get around and then endangering themselves or more than that even other people so I um, you know, one way to rectify that problem is to not have a car to access so I sold my car and um, and then relied on others to take me around and uh, you know if I didn't have access to a car obviously you couldn't drive so um, but uh, recently I've been having problems uh, remembering pretty simple things. Um, at least they used to be simple for me. You know, um, I'll be cooking something and then walk away from uh, the stove. And then in the ne next morning or later on in the evening, find out that I left the burners on. Not a good thing. I would uh, walk away from the water. Um, uh, going in the kitchen and... Uh, in the morning, we wake up to find out that the water had been going all night. Not a good thing. Um, my memory is just really crap, and I always used to be very good at remembering everything. I mean, to I knew detail, everything. So I thought earlier today I would uh, talk about this, and I, I uh, assumed I would, I would be saying things like, well... Uh, I guess I'm going downhill. <laughs> I'm going downhill. And it's getting bad. Oh, you know. But, um, so I, I did a little bit of research after my, my good friend Adam left the apartment. And, um, so I was thinking about a title for this, um, little foray into, uh, uh, my life as it is now. And so I can't remember exactly what I put, I typed into Google. But what I got up was, um, uh, this and I'll read it since I can't remember it. I, since I can't remember it, go figure. And notice I don't have my oxygen on right now. But uh, anyway, it's uh, it's uh, says poor oxygenation, or uh, in parentheses hypoxia. Uh, people who do not have enough oxygen in their blood may develop dementia because. The blood brings oxygen to the brain cells. Now, of course, I knew this, but uh, it <laughs> didn't apply it to me. And brain cells need oxygen to live. Um, sudden severe hypoxia may also cause brain damage and symptoms of dementia. So now I've all I've known for years. As a matter of fact. Back in my 20s, I, uh, I said to people, well, my brain cells I'm, I'm killing off because, you know, when I, when I have, uh, you know, two-fifths of bourbon in a night, um, that kills off brain cells. And I was like, oh, who cares? But anyway, so I think maybe if I'm lucky, this, this state that I'm going through right now might be rectified if I actually put my oxygen on once in a while. Now, I've been trying to do it at night when I'm sleeping, and my oxygen levels go down to like 70% if I don't have it on at night. So, 
Um, gr granted, that's not a good thing. Okay, Google it. But um, for some unknown reason, uh, when I'm sitting here watching movies and stuff, I just uh, don't put my oxygen on, and um, and that's one of these. That's one of these little things, right? All it does is fit right here. Like this, right? So all I need to do is this. And then I walk over to my oxygen concentrator and turn it on. Which is not on right now. But look at how... I mean, I'm not so positive about my appearance anyway. But... Look at this. I hate this. This means... I mean, let me let me let me uh, let me back up a little bit. When I was young and relatively attractive, attractive enough in the gay life, right? There were certain things that I looked at as a sixteen or seventeen year old, and I thought to myself, "Oh my God, look at that person over there." I don't want to be like that when I get old. I'll, I wish, I hope, I die uh, before I'm 35. Because obviously 35 is way old. So, anyway, and I, believe it or not, <clears throat> I used to be a young twink. And my hair was really blonde. And I was, I weighed 136 pounds. 136. I am twice the man I used to be, plus a little bit more. But we won't go into that. Anyway, and I had lots of hair. And if I, if I don't move around, which I try not to because I don't want to show people, there's no hair up here. And there's very little hair. Now, I, I, I don't do the Trump thing, okay? I don't, like, swirl it around or part it over here, but I try not to let people get behind me or, or see me from the side, you know, where there are holes. Uh, but um, I'm going bald. Um, and then, uh, you, you know, I mean, so I'm old. I'm fat. I'm bald. Now I have this, and I need a cane or a walker to get around. Now, if if the old me had walked into a twink bar in 1976 in Garden Grove, which is where I used to hang out because I was an orange shanty kid, uh, and it was just close. So, Garden Grove Boulevard, into my bar of choice, which was owned by a guy named, uh, well, I don't know what his name was. I, I, we called him uh, One Nut Ted, because he actually only had one nut. And his name was Ted. Cool. So, we were very creative back in the day. But, uh, Ted, One Nut Ted owned a bar called Rumor Has It in uh, Southern California on Garbage Grove Boulevard. And uh, it was basically a bar that if you were a teenager underage, you could get into, if you were cute enough, for free. And then Ted had this amazing thing where you were supposed to stay on one side of the bar and Tab Hunter and all his buddies we're supposed to be on the other side of the bar. That's another story. Uh, but if you know who Tab Hunter is, you're as old as I am. Congratulations. Anyway, and all the old trolls on one side of the bar would look at us on the other side of the bar, and then they would, you know, come on over and uh, buy us drinks and ply us with uh, cocaine in those days. Good cocaine. We weren't free basers. We did up the nose. Imagine that. And then, uh, or quaaludes. 
or uppers or downers, black beauties, whatever was going around. And try to convince us to go home. So, anyway. But I have become, long story short, I have become the worst possible troll. Not that I go to bars. Not that I'm into 16-year-olds. But everything I despised in my life as a 16-year-old gay man in my angel flight pants looking what I thought was just gorgeous with a very good tan and very blonde hair. Uh, I have become the worst possible troll <laughs> that would enter in <laughs> into the bar. I've got a walker. I can't imagine now what I must have thought. What I would have thought. A walker <laughs> with his oxygen, a beard that was anathema to any gay gay person in the seventies too, um, because they were all hippies back then. A, <laughs> A walker, oxygen, fat, balding, poor. Uh, I have become everything, everything that I thought was just horrific when I was a young gay man. Anyway, and dementia. I mean, could it get any better than this? <laughs> so, <coughs> I don't believe in karma. But you know what? Maybe I do. Not sure. If I do come back as anything, I want to be a mosquito. In the White House with a president like Donald Trump. Anyway, that's my hello for tonight. <laughs> so long. I'm going to go smoke a cigarette. I'll turn the oxygen off off though. I promise. Bye.